Hi, Jim Young here to talk with you about Trico's Optimatic Oilers. We have two variations of the Optimatic Oiler, the standard vented and the closed system Optimatic. How it works. In rotating pumps, the oil level is typically known as the center point of the lowest ball or roller. This is important to note as the level is critical in keeping the bearing oiled. If you overfill the equipment, more drag occurs, along with the potential for emulsification or foaming of the lubricant, which will reduce its lubricity. Underfill the equipment and the bearing will heat up and possible shearing wear will occur. The Optimatic Oiler has remained relatively unchanged since the 1930s when it was developed by my great-grandfather Oscar Young and still remains a part of lubrication management practices today. When you receive a standard vented Optimatic Oiler, there's a number of key components that you should be aware of. First, to take apart the Optimatic Oiler, there's a thumb screw on the back that loosens and takes the oiler apart. Inside you will find the level adjuster assembly. This is a very important part that people often throw away and I want to make you aware that this is a critical component to making your Optimatic work correctly. So make sure that you save this part. The last part is the plug that goes into the back or the bottom depending upon the, the way that you would like to mount your Optimatic oiler, be it in the side of the bearing housing or to the drain port underneath. To begin, by opening your Optimatic Oiler and taking the level adjuster assembly, there's two wing nuts on here. Be sure to set your wing nuts together tightly at the level in which you would like to set the oil level in your bearing housing. So the upper, upper casting and portion bottle assembly of the Optimatic Oiler is going to rest on this level adjuster assembly. The two wing nuts tighten together in order to hold the position at that point. Once you have that set, place the level adjuster assembly back inside the lower casting, reapply the bottle top, and retighten the knurled thumb knob on the back. If contamination control is a bigger concern to you, then Trico's closed system oiler is a better option. The closed system allows for the exchange of the oil from within the oiler and the makeup air all to exist within the system itself. So the makeup air that comes into the oiler to offset the exchange of oil comes from within the headspace as compared to the outside environment with, standard, with the standard vented Optimatic. To set the closed system, take the upper bottle reservoir apart and you'll notice on the lower reservoir assembly there is a sliding sleeve. This allows you to set the oil level at the bottom level of this sleeve. So adjust it to the point at which you would like it Tighten the hex or allen screws on the side. Reapply the upper bottle assembly until the casting sits securely against that lower sleeve. Then tighten the knurled thumb knob on the bottom. The closed system, like the standard vented, has two mounting options, either from the back to the side of the bearing housing or from the bottom to the bottom drain port of a bearing housing. A plug is provided to seal the other port not being used. Above the back port, you will notice that there is a, a threaded uh, insert for a fitting that accepts a quarter inch tube and connects to the top of the bearing housing for that air exchange that we, we talked about earlier. Closing the system. In many applications, it is either necessary or just plain more effective to close the system to any outside infiltration. 
This greatly reduces the amount of contamination in the lubricant over time. The caveat to closing the system is that temperatures and rotating equipment tend to rise over time when the equipment is cycled on. The increase in temperature causes the air inside the equipment to expand. With no place to go, this expansion can cause pressure, which could cause leaking or even failed seals in the equipment. The cooling of the system may cause condensation, and so the addition of a desiccant, which will attract and disperse moisture from the system. The installation of the closed system is somewhat different in that the oiler has a main line as well as a vent line. The vent line gets attached to the expansion chamber and desiccant via a T-fitting someplace near the top of the equipment or the fill orifice if possible. Keep the equipment full. Filling the equipment once you've installed an oiler is simple and easy. Simply remove the bulb of the oiler and fill the lower casting until the correct level is achieved. Fill the oiler bulb three quarters full and then replace. This will assure you've always got the correct level of lubricant, thus optimizing your lubrication. Note, there is one thing to keep in mind. When you fill the equipment often, it's possible to overfill the equipment because upon removal of the bulb, a small amount of lubricant does expel into the equipment. If done frequently, this can cause the level to rise in the equipment. If you have more questions about lubrication or relubrication, or Trico Standard Vented or Optimatic Oiler, please give us a call.